Colorado will complain about the rain. Our city needs it, but it tends to wreak havoc on Major League Baseball. Will the Rockies play the Brewers tonight at Coors Field in the first of a three-game series? And we've got it live, we hope, on FSN. Welcome to the Rockies pregame report, everybody. My name is Keith Blyer from our press box above Coors Field where we are undercover and we hope that we won't see a ton of rain tonight. It came down hard about 45 minutes ago. Welcome to the premier edition of the Colorado State Insider with Sonny Lubick. I'm your host, Keith Blyer. We'll be here each and every week throughout the season. We start on the Rams' new practice field. It's part of a $15 million renovation to all things football here in Fort Collins. He's already got 43 runs driven in. Quarenta y Trace, <laughs> RBIs, Vinny, and we're not even in June. That's got to be better than even you expected in your return. We're back live on FSN Rocky Mountain from Arrowhead Stadium in Kansas City. It's a mid-November matchup between the Broncos and the Kansas City Chiefs, and it's cold. Either that or Major League Baseball. Late season good. variety. I think that was your eye. <laughs> you were looking at me for just a moment, like, what is he talking about? Where, where did that? I thought your eye was on the screen. My eyes are blue, baby blue. Forsberg, by the way, did score six points in a game back in '99. That was the game against Florida, the team tonight, when they were trailing five nothing late in the second period and came back to win seven five. They said, "Head west, young man," and that's where I am. Welcome to San Francisco, California, the city by the bay. We are here with the Rockies. I'm Keith Blyer, and we had to start by the bridge. Perhaps you've heard of it, the Golden Gate Bridge. Talk about a marvel of architecture and construction. It's awfully imposing from way down here. We're going to take you on a quick tour of the city by the bay as the show unfolds, and we will end where we should, at AT&T Park, the home of the Giants and the circus that is <laughs> Barry Bonds. It's a lot more than just football with walls. It's entertainment from start to finish, including, of course, the Crush Girls. Welcome back to the Chevy pregame report, everybody. I'm Keith Blyer from the North End Zone here at Pepsi Center. Starting in right field and hitting fifth for the Rockies tonight, Brad Hopp, whose average is up to 283. The lifetime batting average for double zero is nothing but zeros. It is .000. Dinger will not be in Clint Hurdle's starting lineup tonight for the Rockies, partially because he's a purple dinosaur. Speaking of dingers, that is another way to say home run, is it not? And don't talk to Andrew Jones of the Braves or Morgan Ensberg, who's playing here at Coors Field tonight for the Astros, about a reduction in home runs. Those guys have been red hot, but they are down across the major leagues, and the Cowboy knows it. The all-star owner that we speak of is the one, the only, Mark Cuban, direct from Dallas, joining us now. Cube, thanks for being here. Oh, it's my pleasure. This, from what I understand, it's the first time I've been around an NBA All-Star game, is the place to be. you got to get up in that hizzle. Oh, full hizzle. You know, you can take Todd away from baseball for a few weeks, but you can't take the baseball out of Todd. He doesn't know how to do anything else. That's what he says. Look who's back at Coors Field, Preston Wilson, longtime outfielder for the Rockies, now with the Houston Astros. And, boy, he owns the starting pitcher for Colorado tonight, byung Yun Kim. Preston 10 for 14 lifetime against BK with three walks, not a single strikeout, and a home run. Houston, by the way, off to their best start ever. They are 19 and 9. And yes, Mother Nature for the time being anyway is cooperating with us. The Rockies trying to stay in first place. They are tied with the Arizona Diamondbacks at 16 and 13. You ready for some Friday night baseball? This is a big one. The Rockies and the Houston Astros. Drew Goodman and Jeff Houston with the call. Next. Next. 